Today on the channel, my old dear friend Carl Douglas once told me, Kyle, everybody is kung fu fighting. Your mind becomes fast as lightning. And truer words never been spoken, especially today on the channel, as we unbox the unrivaled GameStop exclusive Street Fighter Edition Young Bucks. <laughs> Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another AEW Unrivaled unboxing and review and today we've got the Unrivaled GameStop exclusive AEW Jazzwares Street Fighter Edition The Young Bucks. But for all your other AEW Jazzwares needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. And of course, these finally did come in from GameStop about a month, six weeks ago. What is time, as we always say? Kenny Omega came in, and I did unbox the Kenny Omega figure on the channel. Two mixed results, I think, is a fair assessment. And I'm expecting a lot of the same thing here, a little bit mixed results, but I do think it is absolutely genius for Jazzwares to partner with GameStop and give us a Street Fighter gear figures. It makes a lot of sense. If this is at Target, Walmart, everywhere else, doesn't feel quite as special, but the GameStop tie-in with this being a video game makes a lot of sense for me, and I think that is a pretty cool idea. Very much like Hasbro, Star Wars Black Series with the gaming greats being a GameStop exclusive line. It really does feel like a true partnership. Uh, kind of like the RetroFest wrestling figures from Mattel back in the day. A part of the game tie-in there. So I love seeing stuff like that. I think that is a bucket that fits. And these figures, they're not going to be for everybody, but a GameStop consumer, they very well could be. And I can see some Street Fighter fans picking these up, not knowing anything of AEW just because they like Street Fighter. So we've all been there as well. But of course, we're going to do this unboxing and review like we do all the other ones here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I guess we'll start it off with this one. We're going to start off with Matt Jackson as Ryu. Of course, Ryu, a very similar or very familiar Street Fighter face, I should say, all the way back to the OG days. Uh, we all remember him. We do get extra heads here. A lot going on. we got the GameStop exclusive sticker. Special packaging, but at the same time, uniform packaging. I do like that. You get a little Street Fighter graphic there of Ryu. You get Matt Jackson's name on the side looking really good as Ryu, of course. You get Ryu on the side, which is interesting. You get the side here. Not a whole lot going on. I did forget to mention number one in the set. I'm guessing number two. Yep, Kenny Omega being number three. So here we are seeing they are limited or numbered differently, and that's what I've been asking from Jazzwares from the get-go. A ringside exclusive should not be numbered as part. They should have their own numbering system. GameStop has their own numbering system. Why doesn't ringside? Why doesn't Target? Why doesn't Walmart when they get exclusive? So ups and downs, peaks and valleys of this line a little bit there. On the back, we get a big glamour shot like we're used to. No cross-sell. You think you'd at least promote the other two in the set? Uh, but none of that going on there. Uh, not a whole lot going on back here, really. Matt Jackson autograph. From Fighter Fest 629 2019 Daytona Beach, Florida. Now, I believe Fighter Fest is some kind of gaming tie in, something like that. I am not a gamer, as you guys are aware. Unrivaled collection going on. Watch AEW Dynamite. Uh, be there or be square, as one might say. But let's get old Matt Jackson out of the package. Let me get the old cutter there. Get the old tape. Razor blade action. Let's get him out. See what's going on. See what kind of fights we're going to get into. Everybody's kung fu fighting, as we do know, on a daily basis. A lot of kung fu going on in the streets. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison. Oh, my gosh. A lot going on here. Got the nice gi going on. Everybody loves a gi, especially the Gracie family. Oh, they love their gis. Uh, but we love the gi here. Going to cut him out. There's one right there. Big rubber band across the top. And that seems to be it. We got all the extra hands. Looks like a lot of reuse on the hands. I think we saw these same hands with Kenny Omega. We're going to dive into that. We do get an extra head. Oh we, got a, oh, we got a second plastic prison playing tricks on me here. So we get another plastic prison. Oh, we got a headband that looks like it's just going to be absolutely uh, very, very frustrating is how this thing looks. What the heck? And get this out. And we've got a weird dome cap on the time here. Pro protective prison. Well, we know why that is. Apparently, they have this on here because guess what? That headband's going to stain his forehead. So you might want to keep this little plastic. We're going to do the gentle off to the side. See you later because I might have to put that on there with this head. Uh, it's kind of looking that way, I think. Can I get this out? What is going on with this thing? 
Well, I guess you gotta like cut it out. I'm not exactly sure what is going on. Why do they gotta make these things so confusing? I just wanna get it out of the package. Gotta be careful cutting it out. You definitely don't wanna uh, cut the strings there. All right, I'm gonna pull it out this way. I'm gonna poke myself in the eye with those, am I? Hopefully not, hopefully not. What a, what a mess. Why do they gotta make this headband so hard to get out? I've never seen anything quite like this, and even down to the plastic protective uh, carrier there for it. Oh my gosh, that's dangerously close. Dangerously close, but I did it. Round of applause. Thank you. See you later. Goodbye. So we got some of that accessories there off to the side. We'll get him out. We're getting there. We're getting there. Bear with me here. Bear with me. Up high over the top. See you later. Twist ties off to the side. And oh my gosh, he is wrapped up. So once again, we're seeing this from Jazzwares. I do appreciate that they wrap these figures up. They don't get staining. They don't want that. But remember back to the Amazon exclusive Young Bucks 2 pack. We saw this exact thing. Why are the forearm and biceps biceps wrapped here when there is no fabric at all on these? Doesn't make any sense. Why take the time to wrap them? And then uh, it just doesn't make any sense at all to me. I don't understand what they're doing. Very strange. Why wouldn't you wrap the parts that uh, the fabric touches, like on the forehead over there? Just really, really curious and frustrated. I just, I don't get it. And there we go. We got some wrapping around the waist as well. So my gut tells me these are going to stain the figures. So if you leave this gi on, you leave all this on, your figures will be stained. I guess. I don't know why else they would put that plastic protection on there. But all right, let's walk through here and let's start with the accessories as we usually do. We get the extra hands here. He does come with two fists of fury. If you're playing Street Fighter, man, you better have a fist or two. So I'm happy to report that. You do get the old like fireball hands, you know, of course, uh, Ken and Ryu doing that kind of stuff. So you do have those hands. Once again, we did see these with Kenny Omega as well as we do know. And then you got two gripping hands. So just your plain Jane gripping hands if needed. Uh, and then we do get an extra head, and we'll talk about the heads. And then you do get this headband, a nice knot tied in it. It does worry me that this is going to stain. It is red, of course. Uh, I believe this would go on either head, so you can pick your poison. And I feel like if you're going to do this, you really got to put this out to really complement the look. I think you have to have it. I would have rather had a probably a plastic one or a sculpted in one, honestly, for this being a one-off Street Fighter type figure. I think that would have looked better than the cloth. Maybe that's just me. It just depends what you like, I guess. Well, let's look at this Matt Jackson head, and then we'll look at Nick Jackson next. And he does get an extra head as well, so good for Nick, and we'll dive into that. But we got two heads here, and both heads are very, very strange. He's got a weird mouth kind of look going on, and then he's got one eye kind of up and one eye down, so I'm not sure what to think about that. I believe this will fit on this head too. I guess I should check, and yes, pick your poison, whichever head you prefer that on. And then this one is really weird. It looks like he's getting ready to give Kenny Omega a kiss. I don't know, right there on the lips. Kenny, give it to me. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like on there. So very strange heads. A little bit of that weird skin tone color as well on these. So very interesting. Of course, just got the ponytail sculpted in. That does look good. Got the brown hair. It's definitely Matt Jackson. It's not a super, super great rendition. I could see some people being confused. If you handed this, said, who is this? Uh, I'd say, okay, what toy line? Jazzwares? Okay, well, Young Bucks? Okay, you might be able to get there, but... A little interesting. Now he does come with a top gi here. I am not going to remove this gi. I am not going to remove this belt. Those are on for life. I don't want to see the horrors underneath. What kind of staining might be involved. Usually white doesn't stain. At least that I remember. Uh, but I'm not going to remove this. Because it will never go on the same. Especially the belt. And this figure here. It doesn't need to be taken off. This is what it is. This is the way it's supposed to be. But I guess if you really wanted to. It is all removable. You could have these as just plain Jane Young Buck figures. In your collection. And I got to admit. You know games. Up. They do a lot of deals, a lot of clearances. I wouldn't be shocked to see these on clearance one of these days. So if you need army builders, you need some extra ones you want to customize, do stuff to, these could possibly be stuff you could use down the day, down the road uh, with these two. Of course, arms do go all the way around. You got a bicep cut. Double jointed elbows, those big pins really, really stick out. I've been saying that since the day one, but as Mattel has evolved, Jazzwares hasn't quite got there outside of the Supreme line, so hopefully we'll see some of that in the future. Hands back and forth, side to side, hands removable, of course. You got the red wrist tape painted on. Head's going to be removable side to side, back and forth. Waist articulation side to side as well. Get those big old young buck splits if you need to. You got the thigh cut, double jointed knees, pins in the knees, of course. 
boot cut is there, and then ankles back and forth, up and down. Very uh, Elvis-like uh, bell bottoms going on. You got all the fray down here. All in white, though, a very clean-looking figure, uh, all in white. On the back of the gi, you got the Young Bucks logo, looking nice. Super kick on the side, and then you do get a little bit of writing right there uh, on his belt. I don't know if he's a true black belt. I don't know. We'd have to ask him. Is he a true black belt? But an interesting one, you know, Street Fighter's okay. I enjoyed Street Fighter. I played Street Fighter as a kid. I was of the generation when Street Fighter came on. So I played a lot of it. But for me and a lot of my friends, and that's all I can really base my experience on, was uh, Street Fighter was great. Then Mortal Kombat came out, and uh, it changed our lives forever. And we never looked back to Street Fighter. We wanted the blood and guts. Uh, and I'm still that way, I guess I would say. But definitely iconic characters. And I'm talking Street Fighter, of course, Ken and Ryu. Uh, but definitely an interesting one. Does he fit on a ringside stand? Make sure you get the Jazzwear stands. And what do you know he does fit? Uh, but I'm not sure what to think about this one. I guess we'll see how they compare up together. And we will bring Kenny Omega out here uh, later on in this video as well. you got to bring them all, of course, to the party. The super kick party, if you will. But let's get uh, Nick Jackson out of the package here. Actually, I should probably show the packaging off. Is this my first review? Who knows? Who knows? But GameStop exclusive right there. You got him in red, of course. Very iconic, like the young, the young Ken going on. Got the same cartoon image right there. Limited edition. Number two in the line. And as we talked about, there it is on the side. Nothing fun over there. And then the back, very similar. You got a big graphic there. You got Nick Jackson up to the sky, putting his hand up. Got his handwriting there. Fighter Fest 629 2019, of course, matching. Watch all Elite Dynamite. So now we're going to get them out of the package here. Almost got uh, the cart before the horse, as they say. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic Prison up high. See you later. Goodbye. And then we got the same kind of thing going on. We're twist tied, locked in. Uh, looking really good here. Nick Jackson as Ken. Matt Jackson as Ryu. And Kyle Peterson as Zangief. Yes, I'm going to play the Zangief role. I'm very excited for that. He was always my go-to guy. Always loved me some Zangief. Still do after all these years. Just a great guy, old Zangief. He should have got his own Street Fighter split on, spin off, if you ask me. Same issue here. The head's going to pop out, and I won't be able to get this. I guarantee it. Yep, I'm going to have to cut this out. I do not like this headband thing. This is an absolute disaster. Disaster waiting to happen. People are going to cut the headband trying to get it out. I could just see it. It writes itself. It just really does write itself. So I just say be gentle, be careful, go easy. Don't get crazy. Don't get kamikaze. I'm going to pull it right here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Bam, see you later. Bam, see you later. Goodbye. Off to the side, off to the side. Pop these hands out. Hands out. Hands out. Hands out. There it is. There it is. And then plastic prison. Pop him out. Bam, right there, over the top, see you later, up high. Got the twist ties wrapped around the leg. Oh my gosh, twist tie action. And he's locked the same way. Now this red is a little bit more concerning than the white gi over here, because red we know will bleed. It will bleed into the figure, but once again, I don't know what Jazzwares is doing, because uh, they're not protecting any of the figure. They're just protecting the arm. So it doesn't make any sense to me. Somebody explain that to me, why it wouldn't be underneath uh, the gi, it just doesn't make any sense. It's just absolute mind-boggling here. And like I said, we saw that with the Amazon exclusive uh, Young Bucks uh, not too long ago here on the channel. And that one stained all over. Everywhere it stained was not protected. Uh, so it just doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make sense how hard these are to get off from time to time either. Sometimes they fight you, and that's what this one's doing right there. So there it is. And then he's got the skirt plastic down there as well. I'm gonna pull this out. There it is. See you later. So we got quite the mess built up here, but we do got uh, Mr. Jackson out of the package here. Ken and Ryu, they ride again. So looking really nice off to the side and I got plastic all over me. All right, hands. We got the exact same hands we saw with his brother. We got the uh, old Street Fighter hands there. He's gonna throw a mystical ball of some kind. So we do have those. And then we do got the two gripping hands. So same thing. Of course, you get the headband this time all in black where we got red with the last one. So a little bit color differences there. Of course, it will fit back and forth on each. Like I said with this one, I would have probably preferred a plastic headband. I think it would look better, stay better, and it wouldn't stain the forehead. You wouldn't have to go through some of these issues like this one with this little skull cap going on. See you later. Goodbye. Well, let's look at the heads here on Mr. Jackson first. See what old Nick is up to. And you get the very cheesy smile on Nick Jackson. And then you just kind of get a meandering, normal-looking head there. I guess if I'm going to use the two, I'm going to go with the crazy, goofy one with all the teeth showing. Uh, but very, very interesting. Same hair sculpt on both. 
Just both really very interesting hits here. I wouldn't say either hit on either character is the best thing since sliced bread at all. Uh, definitely looks a little different. Uh, but we do get two heads at least, so you can choose your own head adventure. Of course, articulation, arms going to go all the way around, bicep cut, uh, double jointed elbows, pins, they are there, hands back and forth, head back and forth, head removable, big old ab, big side to side, all the usual articulation, big old splits, thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot cut side to side, ankles up and down. So we do get that. Now, this is very similar to his brother as uh, instead of a white gi, he's got a red gi. They both have the same black belt. They both have different colored headbands going on. And then they get the same lower body, this time all red instead of white. Got the frills over here. Uh, you get super kick on the side. You get young bucks on the back of the gi. It really is pretty much a matching set between these two. But it is really cool and iconic in a way because Ken and Ryu, a lot of people resonated with those two. And that's what you get with the Jacksons. I think that works out pretty good. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. Make sure you get the Jazzwares once. As of right now, I do not see staining on this figure. But I think I have a good feeling that down the line we're going to have a stained figure here. So... Really frustrating. Staining is probably my most frustrating issue in action figure collecting because we pay a lot of money for our figures. We don't want them to be ruined. We don't want them to be ruined in a ticking time bomb over time because these figures aren't the same without the geese on them. You take the geese off because you don't want them to stain. Well, then where are you at? You're not really getting the full value, full effect out of these figures. Uh, at least that is my opinion. But they do look good from a distance, especially. And if you're a Street Fighter fan, I could see you grabbing these. And of course, if you're a Young Bucks AEW fan. So all these cross over lines we see it with the turtles all the time there is a market for things like this and i do think they picked the right uh, vendor in gamestop to bring these to the customers of course we do got kenny omega what is he akuma or something like that some character i do not remember at all just totally do not remember at all but we do got all three of them here. So the Elite is riding as Street Fighter characters. A pretty cool deal. Uh, not for everybody. That's the final verdict here. Not going to be for everybody, but very cool at the end of the day. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You picking all three of these guys up? You playing that long clearance game? I think you will win at that game if uh, you are one of those people. But let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. As you guys know, we got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you over on the patreon we got bonus content exclusive content q a's giveaways and even more stuff well over 140 videos that aren't on traditional youtube over on the patreon channel so check those ones out uh, if you get time if you get time there you go and then you can also support the channel over at prowrestlingtees.com search kyle peterson don't forget to follow along and hit me up on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Street Fighter 2, the Elite, AEW, and GameStop, I am Kyle, and I'm going to be Kung Fu fighting my way into the next video.